The powerful painkiller Vicodin was the most prescribed drug to Medicare beneficiaries in 2013, according to data released last week analyzing Medicare's prescription drug program. More than half of the prescriptions for the drug, known generically as hydrocodone acetaminophen, came from family practices or internal medicine physicians. Joining us to discuss this finding is WSJ Health and Science Senior Editor Melinda Beck. Melinda, thanks so much for Hi, being Tanya. with us. Hi. So, does this mean that doctors are just very comfortable prescribing Vicodin? Well, that's part of what it means. It's also very cheap because this was the generic form of Vicodin. It's also known as Tylenol-3. Um, the trouble is that it does have some addictive potential. And since 2013, when these statistics are from, it's been moved to a higher category on the on the drug list, so it's, it is controlled more. Right, and according to the CDC, nearly two million Americans either abused or were dependent on opioids in 2013. So clearly, it is a problem if too many people are being prescribed this drug. What do doctors say about it? Well, I spent a lot of Friday calling doctors who turned up very high on this on this list. And, and I will say that one, one of them in Mississippi had lost her license for um, uh. what state regulators said was um, prescribing without really documented medical need. Um, but several of the other physicians that I spoke to said they were treating an enormous number of patients who had either chronic or long-term pain, <clears throat> excuse me, or, or acute pain. Um, in one case, um, a doctor in Texas told me that he was treating patients that other doctors didn't want to because there is such controversy around um, prescribing these painkillers. It, it's, a, it's a big um, balancing act to alleviate people's pain but not get them um, to be abusing. Was there a geographical difference in this? Yes, study? interestingly, we saw um, quite a, a much higher percentage of these prescriptions in states like Alabama, Oklahoma, Michigan, for some reason. New Jersey and Massachusetts were way low. Hmm. Now, what should patients know when they are prescribed this drug? What precautions should they take? Well, it is an effective pain reliever and anti-inflammatory, but I think the bottom line is take it only as long as you really need it um, and be aware that there's an addictive potential and, and really try to cut yourself off, do particularly you, if, you, if you have a tendency to be addicted to other things. Do you think that as a result of this study, the medical community will try to pull back the number of prescriptions? It, it issues? Yeah, I, th I, I think the more people are aware that this is a potential problem drug, the more caution both doctors and patients will exercise. Right. All right. Thank you so much, Melinda Beck, for okay. that.